there's anything that you think that students should know about NAGPRA that they can't find in like a brief Google search? Mm -hmm. I, I think the most important thing that isn't going to be laid out but is very easy to understand is that repatriation is the return of control, mm -hmm. right? So the most famous cases are the Elgin marbles or the Parthenon marbles that are at the British Museum that the British Museum still will not give back to Greece, regardless mm -hmm. of the fact that Greece has done everything that uh, the British Museum has asked. So the, the taking of uh, Native American remains, Native American collections and stuff, was something that happened all across art, um, natural history collections, mm -hmm. archaeologists, anthropologists, lots of people collected Native America, and that caused a loss mm -hmm. to the Native American communities, especially when people's ancestors were taken from them without their permission. So repatriation is to give back control, and part of giving back control is letting the tribes dictate what happens. Mm -hmm. And that's why there is going to be a standstill and there isn't going to be the fast action that people are expecting. Because we're at the point where the tribes have been contacted and they need time. Mm -hmm. right? They need time to process the information. They need time to ask questions. They need time to understand what is going to happen next. And then they will tell us what happens next. And if we push them, then we're doing the same injustices as collecting from them without their permission. Mm -hmm. To that end, we completely discourage anybody trying to contact the tribe or um, discover what the name of the tribe, the tribes affected, um, were for certain. Yeah.